Well, hello and welcome to part three of my um, um, rendition on pro probability. Now, this time it's called three diagrams, pink balls, black balls and pr probability. And we've got um, back A and back A has got um, four pink balls flying in and two black balls all paired up. Now for back C, we've got two pink balls and two black balls flying in. Now the question is, you pick a ball at random from back A, here, and then and put it in back C, so you pick a ball from here and into there. You then pick a ball at random from back C, and we want to know the probability that you pick a black ball having, pick, having having transferred a ball from black from back a to back c we want to find the probability that you pick uh, a black ball from back c now as we can see uh, there are two events the, the first one is picking a ball from black a and the second event is picking a ball from black c, uh, back c okay so we need to draw um, a tree diagram to show this and uh, here we go and to start off with um, if we got uh, that's a pink branch uh, from back A that is this is event A back A uh, because you got four pink balls because you got four pink balls the probability of picking a pink ball from from back A is 4 over 6 and uh, similarly the probability of picking um, a black ball from back A is 2 over 6. Now, you now have to transfer the ball you pick from black back A into back C. So for that, we need to create um, another branch. Right. Um, now, suppose uh, you picked a pink ball to start off with. Suppose people wanted pink balls and put it into black back C. The number of pink balls in back C will now increase by one, so you got three. So the probability of having um, a pink ball in black in back C is now three over five, as you got there. But the number of black balls still remain the same. So it remains two over five. So it remains, sorry, it remains two. But the number of balls, total number of balls, will be five in there. So the probability of picking a black ball from back C is now two over five. Okay, now note that if you add 3 over 5 and 2 over 5, you get 1. Now, what if you picked a black ball from back A and put it into back C? The number of pink balls in back C will still be 2. So the probability of picking a pink ball in back C is 2 over 5. Now, what what will then happen is that the number of black balls in back C will now increase by 1. So the probability of picking a black ball in back C is 3 over 5. Now, note here that if you add 2 over 5 and 3 over 5, you get 1. Right. We now want to find the probability of picking a black ball from uh, back C, having done all the transfer. Now, suppose we go down this route here, uh, pick up a pink ball from black back A, and then a black ball from back from back C. We're going to have uh, four over six times two over five, because we're going down this branch here, going down this way, and then that way there. And the answer is eight over thirty. Now, if we picked up a black ball from back A and put it into back C, going this route here, that would be 2 over 6 times 3 over 5. And when you multiply out, you get 6 over 30. Okay, so now you can either go this route, 4 over 6 times uh, 2 over 5, or 2 over 6 times 3 over 5 and because you got the word all in our art so it'll be 8 over 30 
plus 6 over 30 and you get 14 over 30 and when you simplify hopefully you get 7 over 15 now check what happens if you had to pick a pink ball and I hope you can get 8 over 15 to add it to 1 here yeah I uh, hope that makes sense um, please subscribe and please click on the adverts see you soon bye bye